Hey guys, I've got a pretty awesome video that I think you might be interested in if you own an iPod Touch or an iPhone. So if you're watching this video, you probably do. And um, if you have a Netflix account, then you're golden for this one. So as I scroll over here, you will notice Netflix. Netflix on the, I on the iPod Touch. Now, if you've been following... Um, any recent jailbreak news. Um, this one guy uh, changed a few permissions and got Netflix running on the iPod Touch and iPhone. And it was actually simple enough that um, one guy made a, made a simple tutorial on it and I tried it out and got it working. Um, I'll have the link in the description for the t total t tutorial as long as uh, I'll just copy the um, tutorial he gives you. But uh, it, it was a little confusing to me so I'm gonna, just going to clear some of that stuff up. So, um, and by the way, Netflix here it works flawlessly. You can watch any of your movies as long as you have a Netflix account. And um, since an, it's since it's an iPad app, you have to convert a few things, and that's about it. And it runs very good. So, what you're gonna need to do is download Netflix from iTunes. Um, it's free, so that shouldn't be a problem. Once you have that, you're gonna want to um, go to the app. Go to the um, go to the app just on iTunes and say. Uh, right click it and then show show in finder and then you want to um, once you see it in finder you want to change it to or transfer it to desktop and then you're going to change the dot ipa to dot zip and then um, it'll change it to a zip and then you're going to um, unarchive it and then you'll get like three um, items and uh, you're going to want to go to the payload and then take the actual app that's in there out of it and then you're going to want to SSH it into your um, iDevice. Again, all these directions are going to be in um, in the t description. And um, then when you when you've done that, you'll want to go into iFile. And um, this is what I did. So I don't know if this works exactly. This is exactly how you're supposed to do it. But it worked for me, so um, should work for you. And so first of all, you're going to want to go into Applications here and click the little blue arrow. Make sure you click that. So you get into File Attributes here. And then when you scroll down to User Permissions. Oh, I rotated that. Um, you're going to want to change it to Read, Write, Execute. Read, Execute, and Read, Execute, just like it's done here. Then you're going to want to open it up. Open yeah, open it up there and you can see I already tried it with other things like Barnes and Noble e-reader which by the way doesn't work but you know just tried it out the, again the pages doesn't work either but fun to try out and then you're gonna want to do the same thing over here um, for me this was actually already the same I just had to change the application or the yeah the application folder so if it's already like this for you just make sure it is and just like that there rwx slash rx slash rx then you want to respring, just just to respring it there, and you're gonna want to try running the app. And look at that, Netflix. I'm not gonna show you it running because that would take a little too long, but um, it works. It drains your battery life though, so recommend plugging it in. It's still a nice breakthrough in the community though. Now, um, what you can do is you can try it with the same thing with other um, other iPhone or I iPad apps. And it's just the same method should you know do it. Um, let me skip. There's a list here from the link. Uh, Alpine crawler goes to the main menu but doesn't do much after that. Netflix, um, as you I was I've tried out. You can stream all mu movies and stuff. iBooks makes your iPhone restart. It's a problem. Tap tap radiation works good and then it you can't choose a song. Then ABC player, the weather channel, Max race car, the solitaire labyrinth, two HD light all crash right on startup and then I have Barnes & Noble e-reader and pages both crash on startup so um, let me see if I can actually get a crashing one so we're, you can see Barnes & Noble e-reader open this up so it looks looking good I was like okay this might work and then all of a sudden BAM it's gone so um, thanks for watching this video this will this should work for any other iPad app or allow you to might work Try this out. Um, subscribe if you this helped you. Thanks for watching. Um, hope hope you enjoyed watching this video and hope you learned something.